Hi, I'm Peter Haddock, and today it's really sunny here on the Devlon stand at Intermat. And this is the day before the show. I'm fully remote controlled, folks, because behind me we've got Concept X2. Stefan, we have a really exciting display here today, central to it is the Concept X2 autonomous remote control. And you can even sit in a place of far, far away in a different country if they've got the connectivity. Tell me a little bit about this show and also the Concept X. Mm -hmm. So about the Concept X, we have three different ways to operate the machine. The first one is like you are now. It's just a remote control, okay? Yep, yep. You will have uh, something like 500 meters range. Right. The second way will be a teleoperation, so it means like during BOMA in 2022, you are seated somewhere in the world, yep. you go in a cabin, and you pull operate the machine at one condition, you need to have a really good internet connection. Right. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So during BOMA, we moved the machine was in Korea from Munich, so more than 8,000 kilometers. Fantastic. And of course, folks, the biggest thing about Concept X2 is autonomy, fully autonomous, come on. I can't actually do anything with his remote controls. It's switched off by the way, folks, but powered by innovation, Stefan, and you know, 100% autonomous dozer, no cab. How does it allow to be autonomous then? Lots and lots of different things allow that. Yes, so first to be autonomous, you need to have all the data from the job site. Right. So you need to have all the different points, everything, all the measurement. Second, we have a GPS antenna, we have cameras, we have a sensor, we have ultrasonic sensor. So the machine is able to work alone because she has all the information. So 3D model folks before it goes into there on the job site and we're fully autonomous. So that's fantastic. And of course, we can jump on with a remote control if necessary. All of that comes around to the back of here, folks, because again, when you're cabless, What's interesting is that's how high it gets, folks. This means you can go to different places and do different things with this machine, don't you? Yes. Yeah. So first, I want to, to say that this machine will never replace an operator. No, no, no. But in certain conditions, really dangerous application or toxic environment, of course, we will not put the operator in danger. Yeah. So autonomous machine will be able to do the job which is fantastic. So come around here because we're going to go and point that way, folks, because where we are here is it's not just about the dozer. Come on, Stephen. <laughs> it's not just about the dozer, also about the excavator here, which is going to be autonomously, well, no, remote control, folks, loading some of the other machines, so the big ADT as well here. Again, Concept X2 is not just about one machine, is it? Exactly. So this machine, these two machines will be operated the same way. The application is the same way. So for Intermat, it will be the first time in, in France that people will be able to see machines working without operator in the cab. And now, folks, the most important thing is we're actually going to see the dozer that requires an operator. So stay there. We'll be back in a minute dozer with a cab. So I'm actually going to need to get rid of that, aren't I? This time, Stefan, we've got the DD130 and this we've actually now got in Europe, haven't we? We saw it yeah. launch the Connect together, yeah. but now it's here and people are using it in anger, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. So we delivered the first machine uh, October last year. Brilliant. On a, with a really good success because, to be honest, we deliver much more machines than I expected. Really? So we have many machines delivered in the UK, in uh, uh, just Czech Republic, Poland. Huh? lot of different places and more to come, of course. Yep. And uh, the feedback is amazing today. What's the biggest thing that people are saying to you about the dozer? Because this is relatively new. You know, you're not a dozer mm -hmm. brand known for that, are you? So tell me, what's the biggest feedback? The best feedback today is the visibility. So we have right. a full visibility on your four corner of your blade, a perfect visibility on your tracks yep. and also the comfort because the seat is uh, together with the manipulator on the same console, so it's fully suspended yeah. and the performance are also amazing. So today uh, we could say that we have same level of performance as the leader of the market. 
Wow, so that's a big statement there, folks. And I think you've got to see it to believe it. But also, you know, with those customers now using it, we're going to be seeing this machine come into higher fleets as well um, in a different parts of Europe and the UK, which means people can hire one and try it for themselves, which is definitely what you need to do, folks. But, Stefan, we haven't finished yet. This is a low carbon show, Intermat. This is a low carbon show. Better go and find an electric. Come with me, come on, let's go. So finally, folks, it's time to talk electric, but it's not just electric, is it, Stefan? This is the electric wheeled excavator, but yeah. it can come as a different type of wheeled excavator, can't it? Tell me about it. We all know that the problem with electric machine is the infrastructure, yes. because you need to recharge it. So we find a way to propose an option to the customer to have a full electric machine, so with 240 kilowatts, or to have 120 kilowatts batteries plus a diesel engine with a generator. Yep. So if I have no infrastructure to recharge my machine, I will be able to put diesel on to run the diesel engine, will run the generator, and the generator will run the machine. Fantastic, folks. So here we go. Take us a look around this machine. So the machine itself, um, give us the capacity of it. It's the 014. So what's the capacity of this machine? Yes, this machine, this machine is around 14 tonnes. Right. Okay? Yeah, yeah. But the concept is really city application. So we have a four wheel steering. We have an offset boom. We have a really short radius. So really the application is city. Right. And of course, you've seen the steel wrist tilt rotator folks on the end there, which makes it really important. But this is an electric option and a hybrid option. So come on here because the one thing that you've got to think about, folks, when we're talking about electric is the charging. So you've actually got the Devlon EV charging station right here and therefore the ability to charge it, folks. This is two options. So you will have this really fast charging station. Yep. So in two hours, you will be able to refill the full of machine, okay, full capacity, but we could have also a low charger, but you will need the full line. That wraps up my whole walk around the stand with Stefan. So we've gone Concept X2, autonomous machines, but remote control and stations. We've gone to the new dozer, now in Europe, being used in anger, lots of great feedback. And now we've come to not just the electric, but the electric hybrid and charging station, Woo! Lot covered in that one. Great <laughs> to see you again. My pleasure. <laughs>